Welcome back, slide roll fans. Um, this is going to be a quick video on the KNE 4110 Power Trick slide roll. Um, not to be confused with the uh, Frederick Post 1462 Power Trick slide roll, which I made a video on recently. Uh, this is an interesting slide roll based on a 1942 patent by uh, John Tyler of the U.S. Naval Academy. His idea is you use essentially A and B as the main scales, so a double decade scale. Uh, so we got 1 to 10. 10 to 100 here. Um, if you use those as the main scales, you can simplify the trigonometric scales uh, and the log-log scales, and you end up with a very simple uh, slide roll, uh, which to master, you only need to master a, a very small number of settings. Um, let's have a look at what he does here. So, he keys the trigonometric scales to C and D, and so his S scale has a range um, that that normally encompasses the ST scale and the regular S scale on a normal slide roll with um, S keyed to C and D. Uh, so I've got range uh, from less than one degree to about 5.7 degrees. Uh, that's the normal range of the ST scale. Then I've got the range of the normal S scale starting here in the middle uh, from a little less than six degrees out to 90 degrees. Um, that's similar to the S scale on a lot of Mannheim slide rolls, which is keyed to A or B, because that's exactly what he's done here. Now, to, to make up for the loss of um, the, the loss of resolution and uh, making the main scales have uh, two decades, he increases the length of the slide roll a little bit. Uh, so versus those Mannheim slide rolls, that might increase the resolution of the S scale a little, but it's going to be decreased. Uh, from the resolution that you have here um, on a slide roll like this with a 10 inch scales and S keyed to C or D. Now, uh, he also does the T scale keyed to C and D. So he gets two decades here. He's got the normal T scale range um, from a little less than 6 degrees to 45 degrees. Then he has the T2 scale range here on the T scale from 45 degrees uh, to about 85 degrees. So he's compressed what this slide roll has in four trig scales down to two scales uh, by doubling the length of, uh, doubling the range of C and D. Okay, that simplifies the settings a little. You don't have to worry about jumping from one to the other uh, for a lot of settings. Um, okay, what else does he do here? He, um, he puts A and B on there, but now A and B, they have four decades. Uh, one, two, three, and four. And then he puts log-log scales, which are keyed to A and B. These are the P scale and the F scale. These are not. This is not the normal P scale of later slide rolls. Uh, these are two log-log scales, one for bases greater than one across the top, and the next scale down for bases between zero and one. And these two scales have uh, what this slide roll has in eight scales, compressed down to two scales. So he gets a compression of factor two by keying to A and B instead of C and D, and then he gets additional factor of two uh, by the fact that C and D have double range. So he compresses eight scales down to two. Um, of course, the consequence is that he has a very limited resolution. Uh, so you can see, if you look at the top scale here, the P scale, um, he's got the range 1.001 to about 1.1, or 1.01, that's the LL0 in this slide roll. Then he's got that next range, 1.01 to about 1.1, then he's got about that to E. He's got E here. Looks like an epsilon. Then he's got uh, range E uh, to about 20,000. So he's got a four log log scale range here across the top. Uh, very low resolution, but easy to use. Easy to use. Um, for example, you can raise 1.02 to, to an extremely high power with this setting. Let's find 1.002. I'll align the B index. Then I can raise 1.002 to the 10 here, to the 100, to the 1000. I can go even higher to the 3000 power, all staying on the same scale. That looks like about 400. Um, okay, so what do we get? We get a lot of scales and very little slide roll real estate um, with this design. So we've got essentially four log-log scales in down to two. 
we've got four trig scales down to two. So it's very easy to use. You're, you're staying on the same scale. You don't have to worry about jumping from one scale to the other scale uh, for all those scales. Um, and the additional advantage is you get the advantage of, uh, the main advantage of folded scales. You can avoid off scale. So say for example you want to do normal setting of multiplication. Let's say you want to, you want to multiply 7 by something. So I'm going to set this index over the 7. Then you'll see I can multiply 7 by anything with the no basic normal setting. You know, 7 by 2, 14, 7 by 3, 21. I can go all the way up to times 10 and get 70, all without going off scale. Um, he includes a CI scale, which enables you to do um, a double multiplication or double division. And if you use the correct index, you can avoid off scale uh, for the double operations also. Um, now, that it's a very interesting design in its simplicity. So... Another assumption is made that uh, to compute powers or logarithms, you're always going to use P or F. Uh, so the K scale is removed and the L scale is removed. Um, you might say that maybe you don't even need the A scale here if you're going to square on P or F. But squaring is such a common operation that A and B are retained. Also, everybody knows how to use A and B. Uh, so A and B are retained. Um, but the K scale is removed and the L scale is removed. The assumption is that you're always computing powers on P or F. Um, okay, uh, this slide rule has a little maintenance issue I want to ask you guys about. Uh, if you flip to the back here, you've got these K and E adjustment screws that will adjust the tension and the left-right adjustment of this top bar here. Um, but this one, this screw uh, will spin if you spin it. It's not, uh, it seems like maybe it's stripped. And I'm not sure exactly what those screws go into. Uh, so if you k &E experts want to give me a tip uh, how to analyze that, please do. Um, otherwise, enjoy your day and uh, keep having fun with slide rolls.